With the release of the Happy Home Paradise DLC pack for Animal Crossing New Horizons, the first thing that I looked for was more ways of destroying my remaining brain cells with challenges. If you've seen previous videos of mine, you might remember some challenges where I tried to pay off my debt through various unconventional methods of making money. Well, it just so happens that the Happy Home Paradise DLC added another one of those methods. A currency has been introduced called Pokey, used to buy items from the Paradise Planning office shop. Pokey is earned as your payment method for designing various homes for your clients. Saving up Pokey has a couple of uses. One is buying items from the Paradise Planning shop, as stated, but eventually you will also unlock another ability that allows you to convert your Pokey that is exclusively used on the island to bells that you can use back home. This is unlocked after designing 23 houses for your clients, and the conversion rate changes every day, similar to turnip prices. Naturally, when I heard of this mechanic, I thought it would be a great new challenge to see how long it would take to pay off all my debts with Pokey. Will it take forever? Will it be a good idea? Will it degrade into a repetitive task that I begin to regret doing halfway through? Let's find out. Let's get ready here. Three, two, one, go. We don't have access to the Paradise Planning Island right away after starting a new island, so there will have to be some prep work that we have to do before the challenge really gets underway. A lot of progression in this game is locked behind a certain threshold, and that threshold is getting three stars. Stuff like KK Slider's concert, terraforming, vendors being on Harv's Island, and other things as well. So I was relieved to hear that the only thing that I had to do before accessing Happy Home Paradise is to build resident services. That, then, requires requires me to build Nook's Cranny, the Museum Tent, and five homes for my villagers. Uh, oh yeah, I should probably grind up some Nook Miles so that I can get my house built. My house being built is a required thing that I need to do, so let's take a picture, let's just grind some easy Nook Miles here, snap. So there's no getting around the fact that your first debt must be paid with 5,000 Nook Miles, so technically this challenge should be called paying off all my debts with Pokey, except the first one, but... That's not as catchy, you know? We got the museum plot down, and now we have to work on gathering materials to build the shop and to furnish the three plots that Tom Nook gives me to move in more villagers. You've probably seen this tutorial section hundreds of times now, so I won't belabor the point. While gathering materials, I managed to scrape together enough miles to pay off our first loan. In case you're wondering, this leaves us with 5,696,000 bells remaining until our house is paid off. Now, paid off, meaning that we get it to the maximum size possible. I'm well aware that there are several storage upgrades available after your final payment, but this challenge will be daunting enough just paying off the base home loans, so forget it. I feel bad, but we're basically just going to ignore Blathers and the museum as a whole on this save file. Sorry, Blathy. You know when this country took a wrong turn? So, you know, you might say, like, the Reagan administration. You might say, like, you know, the Great Depression. Do you know when this country took a wrong turn? When we started to sexualize the green M&M. It takes a couple of Nook Miles Islands to gather all the materials for the shop, but we do get it done eventually. On our first visit to the shop, a fun coincidence happens. Wait. Is it just, like, literally the greatest coincidence that we got the Mr. and the Mrs. Flamingo? What are the odds of getting Mr. and Mrs. Flamingo as your two pieces of furniture? Alright, here we go. We, we must forever cement the legacy of Mr. and Mrs. Flamingo. Let's make some room for him over here. Aww. That phone call received earlier means that three new villagers want to move in, meaning that we have to make a bridge, place the plots, and furnish them. And then after all this is done, we'll have resident services in no time. We've now pleased Tom enough to have him upgrade resident services. Hello, dog. Skipping ahead another day after that, then prompts a phone call from Tom Nook telling us to meet him in the airport. Okay, 
So, with the resonant services built, we can now visit the Happy Home Paradise Island and begin decorating houses, thus working towards getting Pokey, which is great. So now that we're actually getting into the DLC, let's go into the method of how this challenge will be completed and the logic behind how to do it. I mentioned earlier in the video that it takes 23 houses to be designed before you unlock the ABD and therefore the ability to convert your Pokey into Bells. And considering you can do as many homes as you want in just one day, getting those first 23 will be easy. We'll pick the closest client, see what they want, and we'll give it to them. Every client has a few specific items that are required for their theme. But you know what the nice part is? That's all they need. As in, you can just put those pieces of furniture down, and they're as chuffed as if you had gone balls to the wall decorating it. Which is a little bit sad, as it really disincentivizes trying your hardest, considering they really don't care one way or the other. Great for the sake of this challenge, though. So we basically rip off Lottie by doing half-assed work and getting paid all the same for it. Our pay grade goes up depending on a few factors, but it's mostly based on how many houses we've completed. So while we work away on the first 23 houses, we'll be building up Pokey to convert. Now we can only convert 15,000 Pokey per day, and we're gonna have a lot of Pokey to go through once we unlock the ABD. I'll explain the steps that we take after getting the ABD when we get it. So the process goes like this. We get a client, we see what they want, choose an island that's closest to you. Uh, apparently you have to go inside. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Beautiful. Masterpiece. Get paid, find another client. They want this. This island's nice. Ba ba ba. Masterpiece. Get paid again, and do this 23 times, completely ignoring anything and everything that isn't related to maximizing the amount of houses that we get done. And as facilities become available, we'll of course take time to do those as well, since they pay extra pokey. <gasps> A raise. Let's go. Hey, we're a promising designer now. I think we're worthy of that title, right? Right? There you go. That's a- that- I mean, I would go to school here. I'm finished. It's the unnamed school. They can't even budget a name. 30 houses to decorate the interior. Gotcha. Oh my god. Ooh, that's a little sad. I almost kind of feel bad. This school reflects society. Society puts kids in schools like this, and they are trying to tell us that that is okay. When you divert 80% of your education funds into your football team and you neglect the basic needs of the students in the classrooms, in the hallways, in the bathrooms, I ask you, does that seem fair to you? Politics aside, we move on to knocking out the 23 completed vacation homes as fast as possible. At the 3 hour and 40 minute mark of this challenge, we complete 10 homes. Yeah, he's certainly safe, there's no doubt about that. How can you not be safe with them ass cheeks hanging out? Oh my god. After Boyd's house, we get a raise to 12,000 pokey per house. Alright, let's actually watch the panorama here. Oh no, it's so sad! They're so sad! It looks like a damn prison! Oh, and then just the cash register in the middle. So, oh, they're hard at work, man. Yup. Yup. <laughs> no cooking utensils. No anything really to cook with. Mamma mia. We get up to 15,000 pokey per house design, and not long after that, reach 20 homes completed. After getting 23 homes and skipping ahead a couple of days to initiate the cutscene, because it's there it is, let's go! Hell yeah. Did I notice anything new? It's the first thing I saw, girl boss. It's the first thing I saw. All right, so now I can explain how the pokey to bell conversion rates work. The conversion rates are randomly generated every day, similar to turnip prices. The difference between the conversion rates and turnips, however, is that turnip prices work in patterns, whereas conversion rates are truly random and unpredictable. They range from 200 bells per 100 pokey to 333 bells per 100 pokey, meaning that one pokey could be worth anywhere between 2 bells and 3.33 bells depending on the day, meaning that we'll probably need a little over 2 million pokey to pay off our debts assuming that our conversion rates are average throughout the entire course of this challenge. So, that's easy enough, right? Keep doing houses until you get all that amount of pokey? 
Basically, yeah. But also consider the fact that we can't transfer any more than 15,000 Pokey per day. And since we're also earning 15,000 Pokey per day, we're practically breaking even with how much we're earning and how much we're transferring every day. And we've accumulated quite the Pokey surplus while designing houses before getting the ABD, so we're gonna need to do two transfers for every one house that we design until we shed that surplus Pokey. We devise that the best method to do this is to time travel to 457 AM, book it to the Paradise Planning Island, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, go to the office, do a transfer, and wait until 5 AM hits, the day rolls over, and then do another transfer and then design another house. Effectively doing two transfers in one day and designing houses to still make Pokey while we do it. But Dagnall, wouldn't you want to wait until your conversion rate is higher before you transfer your Pokey to Bells? It is my understanding that you should never waste a day to convert your Pokey, even if your conversion rate is terrible. The value that you get from transferring is greater than the value of waiting until your conversion rate is good. Since you can only convert 15,000 Pokey per day, you'll end up saving more time converting Pokey every day no matter what the exchange rate is, rather than waiting for a good rate. Or at least that's my thinking. I could be wrong, but that's what we're going to do for this challenge. So until we work off that surplus Pokey, that's going to be the process that we follow. Despite the fact that this challenge is boiled down to essentially doing the same thing every day until we make enough bells to pay off our loans, we still have some fun along the way. Happy Home Paradise spoilers up ahead, by the way. And then hope that it barreled. Without like an end goal in mind of the amount of Pokey that I need. Ooh, I tried to stop it at exactly six hours. Look at all them damn hospital patients. Poor, poor people. <laughs> yeah, when's this mal hospital getting hit with a malpractice suit? Yo, what? Excuse you? You can do that? Huh? Expert designer over here. Go stupid, man. You deserved it. You earned it. You worked hard. Marlo and Bill. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Don't show it off! Oh no, no, no! One? Oh god, even the picture is bad. Oh no. Come on, man. Why do you gotta do this to me? Everyone has an equally shitty home. We are an equal opportunity home designer. Exactly. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, corporation. I'm dragging a wagon over here, man. Mamma mia. <laughs> He's putting some ass into it, dude. Wow, we got some fucking stinkers here today. Holy smokes. Yikes. I kind of like Diva. You're kind of banned. I know. Oh, you don't like that. All right, so we're basically halfway through because it's 200, it's, sorry, 5 million, it's 5,696,000. So we're like kind of basically at halfway exactly. Right around the 14 hour mark, we finally shed all of the surplus Pokey that we earned right before getting the ABD. And we can simplify the process even further by just doing one Pokey to Bell transfer every day and one vacation home per day. We're up to around 3.7 million bells, so we have about 2 million bells still to go. Gaston's house was also our 90th house decorated, era quotes, so our top Harvard mathematicians estimate that we'll finish this challenge at around 140 houses complete. <sighs> Only 50 more to go. Yo, finally, we're out of 15,000. 20,000! Let's fucking go! Holy shit, it only took 101 houses! For God's sakes! Jesus Christ! In case you're wondering, I have not done this challenge for 16 hours in a row. I don't quite hate myself that much. Yet. This is day 6 of doing this challenge over on my Twitch channel, so you can join me over there for future challenges. Okay, this exchange rate's a little rough here. Will we get enough on this one? We will. 5.7 million. We need 5,696,000, and we now have 5,713,000. Okay. So now I think let's head back to the main island here, deposit that money, and uh, yeah, be good to go. All right. ABD, deposit, full amount, 
5,713,539. And now let's do our loan payments, which actually I should have been doing as I've been going here so that I don't have to do it all at the end of the run. Um, it would have saved a little bit of time if I would have been doing it step by step as we went. But that's fine. It's, again, not a big deal here. So that's it. The challenge didn't offer much in the way of entertaining moments once the formula to complete it became kind of repetitive and monotonous, but we did prove that it is possible and plausible to pay off your loans with Pokey. Thank you for sticking with me throughout this challenge and your patience as I continue to put my best effort into these videos that I can. Even if they might be few and far between at times, I do thank each and every single one of you who anxiously await new videos of mine. So thank you all for watching, and suggest ideas for more videos in the future in the comment section down below, tweet them to me, or post them in my Discord. Whatever works for you. Thank you very much, enjoy your holiday season, and I'll see you all next time.